Home Fire by Camilla Shamsi is a novel that follows a Muslim British family that lives in London and has unexpected ties to ISIS through their father and their brother. Um, this is a modern commentary on Antigone by Sophocles. And due to these uh, ties to ISIS, they're forced to shake a stereotype that is continually perpetuated by the new home security secretary concerning the religion of Islam and immigrants into Britain. Uh, Shamsi is similarly from Karachi, the Pakistan city in which a portion of the story takes place and moves to London. So the story is largely based off of her own experiences. The novel is set in the present day and presents a model of the story of Antigone with modern contexts that tackles issues of rising fervor such as immigration control and a growing social climate of distrust towards Muslims as well as higher security concerning immigrants. Homefire is a direct interpretation of Sophocles' Antigone uh, minus certain nuances that mold the novel to fit to a more of a modern day context. The events, however, coincide directly, as well as the themes of feminism and civil disobedience that are so crucial to the plot of Antigone. The characters directly correlate to characters in Antigone, which is denoted by the similarity in the structures of their names. The names on the left are the characters of Homefire, which correspond to the characters on the right, their counterparts in Antigone. As you can see, Parve, Anika, and Isma all bear a similar relation to their corresponding characters in Antigone. They're all siblings. Um, Iman is Karamat's son, which is a representation of Haman and Creon. And there's also a loving relationship between Anika and Iman, as well as a familial one between Anika and Parve that is shown between Antigone and Polynices in Antigone. In Homefire, Parve is a direct representation of Polynices in Antigone. Both of them go against their country and fight against their country in order to further their ideals, but in return are not allowed to have a proper burial when dying for the cause, are not allowed to have a proper burial in their home country, Parve having to stay in Pakistan due to um, Karamat Lone, the home security secretary, disallowing his burial in Britain where he has always been from. Similarly, Creon does not allow the burial of Polynices. In both cases, um, their sisters, Anika and Antigone, take matters into their own hands and follow their own morals in order to um, disobey the law and b give their brothers proper burials. And also, Creon and Karamat are direct representations of each other. Karamat is very strict to the law, and although he was not... Um, it was not given the position due to lineage, he was given the position due to an election and still feels that the law resides more um, prevalently than his emotions, as does Creon in disallowing both of the boys to be buried, even though it seems the right thing to do to others. Where Antigone and Anika are concerned, there are no clear differences between their motivations or the themes of civil disobedience and feminism as it relates to their characters. Antigone is determined to love her brother and support him even um, despite his actions against the government, simply because he's her brother. Um, and he, she says, Go thine own way, myself will bury him. How sweet to die in such employ to rest. Sister and brother linked in love's embrace. Similarly, Anika displays um, a familial love that comes from being a twin with her brother. And even because of his mistakes, she still accepts him as family. So she says he wants to come home. He wants me to bring him home even in the form of a shell. And she goes against all wishes of her sister, of the state, of Karamat, in order to follow her own personal beliefs and steps out of the traditional role of a woman in order to do so. Similarly, Antigone goes against her sister, Ismene, who is um, unwilling to help her return the body, and as well as the orders of Creon, even though it... Um, ends up in her being detained and eventually executed. Another similarity is found in the characters Isma in Homefire and Ismene in Antigone. Um, Isma and Ismene both are loyal to their families and have strong religious beliefs, but instead of allowing them to act on behalf of their loyalties to their family, they act on behalf of their loyalties to the state and intend not to cause any trouble for their family or themselves. Um, Isma says, my sister and I have no plans to travel to Pakistan for the funeral, announcing that although she does feel sorrow for her brother's death, she does not want to be associated with the morals that he was associated with. 
Ismene similarly says that weak women think of that, not framed by nature to contend with men. Remember this too, that the stronger rules, we must obey his orders. Ismene relents to um, uh, ruling by males in power and does not believe herself strong enough as a woman. She conforms to gender norms and does not act on her loyalties to her brother or her sister. One of the major differences between Homefire and Antigone is that the love story between Iman and Anika is played up more fully in the novel than in Antigone, as a full quarter of the book is dedicated purely to this relationship and Iman's intensely unwavering love for Anika. Much of this is not explained in Antigone and is not fully addressed with um, the love between Haman and Antigone. Um, Although both pairs of lovers do end up dying because of the deaths of one another, Haman kills himself in response to Antigone's execution while Anika and Iman die because of an accidental bombing together. Another stark contrast between the novel and the play is the role that Creon and Karamat play within their son's relationships to Antigone or Anika. Um, Creon, on one hand, still condones the marriage of Haman and Antigone because he thinks it is what is going to be best for Thebes, even though he does not necessarily support Antigone. Um, on the other hand, Karamat is very, very against his son and Anika getting married or even talking at all because of what her status as a Muslim, as um, having ties to ISIS due to her father and her brother, what that could do to his career as the home secretary, especially because of his views that he takes against those issues. He does not condone the marriage or even the two speaking or seeing each other or wanting anybody to know anything about the relationship that his son had had with Anika. Altering the um, play Antigone to a novel was not much of a change just because of the fact that it's a similar medium of work. I do think that much of the story is played out within the imagery and the actions physically displayed between the characters as Shamsi writes them versus the dialogue between the characters, which is the only way you can really be certain of the intents and the thoughts of a character in the Greek play. The modern work, I believe, does not necessarily enhance the understanding of the ancient work just because of the such um, clear similarities between the two that there really is no added layer or added theme that is not touched upon in the original play. I do, however, think that Home Fire by Camila Shamsi is a very accurate and fitting adaptation of Antigone for the modern day, and I, does, I do think that Although it does not help with the understanding of the ancient work, it does put the ancient work in a much more modern context that is more easily relatable to today's um, citizens, especially with the changing political and social climate that has been happening within the past couple of decades, couple of years specifically, as far as immigration is concerned, as far as um, feminist values are concerned. I think all of these ideals are portrayed with um, a heightened severity but nevertheless are very um, relatable and very pertinent to today's issues in society. The areas of focus in the modern work are very much the same as the areas of focus in Antigone previously. Um, civil disobedience, where the sisters bury their brothers, uh, loyalty to the law by the rulers, as well as the conflict between familial loyalties between and um, um, state loyalties that Isma and Ismene have to deal with. Uh, I do think that a new element is brought into the story between Haman and Antigone, their love story. I think it is played up much more effectively, probably for an added entertainment value in this novel, although it is important to the furthering of the concepts previously discussed. Overall, Shamsi does a good job of transposing the work of Antigone into her own novel, Home Fire. She does this by making the character alignment very apparent and the story flows very similarly to the ancient Greek play. The themes of civil disobedience and feminism that were pertinent to Antigone are still carried through to this, just in a new medium and with a new, more modern context. Um, the the context is more pertinent to today's society with its uh, stat takes on um, the status of anti-immigration laws, racial prejudices that have been potentially heightening, the disobeying the government, as well as feminist ideals, 
um, and women gaining greater freedom as well as a stronger feminist movement. All of this is expressed in a more modern way. Um, and also the novel is highly entertaining, which thus effectively communicates these themes.